Hey guys and welcome back to another Division video. Now today let's take a look at this build that I made revolving around the talent Sledgehammer or Perfect Sledgehammer if you wanted to use stage left. Alright, it says here dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on the target. Targets with a mark will take 40% more damage to armor and have a minus 30% on the movement speed. Now a month ago I made a build, it was a Costa Bomber and it was using this gun and also that talent which is sledgehammer but it was a skill build it was using a bunch of uh, skill tier armor and it was an explosive build for this build i wanted to focus on the armor shredding that a perfect sledgehammer gives us so right now if we hit the enemy with a grenade it says here dealing damage with a grenade but i found out that even if we use this flashbang that we get from the sharpshooter specialization uh, it triggers the sledgehammer talent no damage needed and the nice thing about this grenade flashbang is that it's it has like really large aoe if you pair that up with the talent mad bomber that we are using on the chest piece the aoe is super large it almost fills up the entire screen for me so there you go really easy to trigger and if you wanted to originally the build was using um a costa go bag like so you get to throw a free grenade every now and then but keep in mind that this build is weapon damage all right so i thought this was a bit of a waste because uh it gives us like skill tier you know the nice thing about this is that you get a free grenade every 60 seconds and then you also have like a plus three grenade capacity here which is very nice but all the rest of the the talents here or bonuses are mostly for skill uh builds so i felt that it was a bit out of place and instead i want i went for uh, walker harris since we're wearing two pieces of it it gives us like plus five damage to armor right and contractors gloves which gives us this unique attribute here plus eight percent damage to armor plus the sledgehammer uh, which you know gives us 40 percent more damage on enemies that are marked okay so that's the build for those people that are just interested on what the items are here you go for the specialization i'm using sharpshooter just so we have access to the grenade flashbang for the main weapon i'm using stage left it has perfect sledgehammer for the sub weapon i'm using any lmg uh, just as long as it has like sledgehammer sidearm same just use sledgehammer for the mask i'm using group of sombra for that 10 percent critical hit damage for the chest piece i'm using overlord armaments that has mad bomber as its talent just because you want to have that really huge rages of the flashbang to trigger sledgehammer for the holster i'm using seska viroba for that 10 percent critical hit chance for the backpack i'm using walker harris for that five percent weapon damage for the gloves i'm using Petra Defense Group. This is Contractor's Glove. It gives you 8% damage to armor as its unique attribute. And lastly, for the knee pads, another piece of Walker Harris. So we activate that bonus of 5% damage to armor. For the skills, since we're a weapon build, I decided to go for the usual decoy and reviver. Okay, so for the specialization, I'm using Sharpshooter, mainly just for one thing, and that is the flashbang grenade that we have here. The flashbang grenade applies blind to all targets within a large area of effect. Now, also pick up this one. It gives us increased rifle damage. It, if you choose to use stage left, the perfect sledgehammer rifle. Also, increase light machine gun damage 15 percent just because of the gloves contractors gloves it gives bonus to lmg so it's nice to bring this as a secondary weapon now before we take a look at the weapons let's take a look at the stats right now i'm using stage left and my critical hit chance is 60 percent 
my critical hit damage is 169%. Now, if we switch that up and we take a look at the LMG, if you press M, I have 60% critical hit chance and 142 critical hit damage. All right? So let's switch that back up. Okay, so let's take a look at the weapons. First up, stage left. It is a named rifle. The stats that you want is rifle damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. The talent that it gives you is perfect sledgehammer. Dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on the target. Targets with the mark will take 40% more damage on armor and minus 30% on movement speed. The mods that I used for stage left is 5% critical hit damage, 5% critical hit chance, and 5% critical hit damage. For the magazine, I'm using 20% reload speed. But there are a few options here that you might want to take too, like stability. That's pretty nice too. Next up, we take a look at the secondary weapon. I'm using a military MK46. It has pretty nice stats. I have 15% LMG damage, 12% damage out of cover, and 6% damage to armor. Now the talent that I have here is Sledgehammer, same as the uh, primary weapon. The mods that I have here is 5% critical hit chance. I have 5% rate of fire, 5% critical hit chance, and 5% critical hit chance. Lastly, for the sidearm, any sidearm would work. Just put in sledgehammer. Okay, so for the armor, I have here three pieces of blue, but if you wish to, you could go all red. For the mask, I'm using Grupo Sombra. It gives us 15% critical hit damage. I have here armor. The stats that you want for this one is critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and a critical hit damage mod. Next up, the chest piece. I'm using Overlord Armaments. It has plus 10% rifle damage since we're using stage left as our main weapon. I have here weapon damage. For the attributes, I have critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and a critical hit damage mod. Now for the talent, I'm using Mad Bomber. It gives us grenade rages is increased by 50%. The rest of this is not that great. We have here grenades that kill an enemy are refunded. We can't really kill our enemies with our grenades because we're using a flashbang. Uh, also, you could cook your grenades by holding it around 4 seconds. And this one is uh, giving you 15% bonus armor while you're aiming with grenades. Not really that great. If you want to change the chest piece talent, feel free. You know, you could use other talents as well. Okay, so for the holster, I'm using a Seska Viroba. It gives us 10% critical hit chance. The stats that you want is weapon damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. Next up, the backpack. I'm using a Walker Harris two-piece. One is in the knee pads, so we get weapon damage and damage to armor. The stats that I used is weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage mod. The talent is Vigilance. It increases the total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. Next up, the gloves. I'm using a named item here. It's Contractor's Gloves. It is a Petrob Defense Group item. It gives us 10% LMG damage. The stats that I used here is Armor. And the unique thing about this glove is it gives us this 8% damage to armor. Now I have here critical hit chance. Next up, lastly, we have the knee pads. I'm using another Walker Harris. That's the one that activated this second bonus here, which is damage to armor. The stats that I put is armor, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. For the skills, pretty much the same since we're using a weapon build. Uh, you could go with whatever skill you want. I'm using a decoy. The mods that you want are health and duration. For the other skill, it's Reviver with Stim Efficiency, Duration, and Repair Charges. Okay, so here we are at the shooting range. Let's take a look at the stats first. We have here 60% critical hit chance and 169 critical hit damage using stage left. The talent that we will talk about first or show 
is a perfect sledgehammer, right? I'm gonna throw a flashbang grenade and you can see the talent will activate. The radius is pretty big because of our chest piece talent, Mad Bomber. Now after you throw the grenade, you can see it there, I will zoom in. All of them have that icon, perfect sledgehammer. Okay, so for the next talent, we have Mad Bomber, the chest piece talent. It gives us 50% increased grenade rages. Now, I will show you a grenade rages without the talent. Right now, I'm using this item here without any Mad Bomber. I would aim here at the, uh, I would zoom in. I would aim there. You could see the rages, right? Okay. Now, I would equip that item which uh, gives us mad bomber this one and let's take a look at the uh, rages of the grenade now as you can see it's very huge pretty much the whole screen for the next talent we have vigilance the one that is on the backpack all right it's pretty basic it increases the weapon damage by 25 percent and by taking damage, it disables it for four seconds. Now, I would zoom in. As long as you see that icon, that means that the buff is activated. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna test the damage that we could do with Sledgehammer. Right now, we're looking at the elite enemy here. I'm gonna throw a grenade to debuff it with Sledgehammer. As soon as we see the icon, we're gonna be shooting at it. You can see it there there's an icon we are dealing 1.4 million damage on the chest and 1.8 million on the head all right also before i forget there is another perfect sledgehammer weapon here this is a shotgun it's a named weapon lefty so it has like shotgun damage damage to armor and i have here critical hit chance and the talent is perfect sledgehammer. I just chose uh, stage left because I do like fighting in range, you know? So there you go. Anyways, that is the build. If you wanna throw more grenades to activate sledgehammer more, uh, you could change the backpack into a Costa Go bag. You do lose weapon damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage, but you get to throw a grenade every 60 seconds for free. You also get to carry more grenades. It's plus three to your grenade slot. I find the build very fun uh, just because like if you're fighting enemies with high armor, uh, that's an advantage to you because you deal more damage to them. And once they're out of their armor, um, they're easier to kill. For the chest piece talent, Mad Bomber, if you're okay with the size of the explosion of Flashbang without any buff, then you can change that as well you know maybe choose uh, something else that also uh, makes your weapon damage higher right but for this build i wanted to just focus on activating a sledgehammer as much as possible as well as like dealing damage so i think this is a pretty good combination right maybe in the future i would mix it up a bit also, if you don't like the idea of using a rifle, there's also a shotgun version, right? You just change one of the armor pieces. Instead of having rifle damage there, just put in 10% shotgun damage. Anyway, that's it. I just want to show the combination of flashbang with Mad Bomber, really huge AOE grenade rages, plus debuffing them with sledgehammer talent, right? We have like a couple of... Uh, uh, weapon options we have lefty and stage left if we're using stage left i'm hitting 1.4 million on the chest which is insane really fun build to use i guess uh, you could do this with uh, assault rifle as well maybe a famas i haven't really tried that yet but maybe in the future anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one